We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has used 10 years of citizen science data to show that a variety of conservation approaches are needed to protect UK bumblebee species. We map your presence across field and pasture, tracing flights of fancy from marsh and mire to gardens, hedges, lanes. Across freshwater edges you weave your dance, vibrant stripes of fur drifting over bracken and herbs with the casual impertinence of independent passage. Transects diverge, break in transitions with dissecting lines of gold and black as you hurry down corridors made narrow in escape. This poem is inspired by recent research published in the Journal of Applied Ecology, which has used a decade of citizen science observations to observe the effects of climate and land use on British bumblebees. Bumblebees are important pollinators, but are suffering from population declines due to land use intensification and the effects of the climate crisis. In order to guide conservation efforts, it is important to better understand the relationship between how bumblebees interact with specific habitats and the way in which they are affected by changes to the climate. However, making these measurements is extremely time and resource intensive and is made even more complex by the fact that in Britain alone there are 24 known species of bumblebee. Data that is gathered by citizen scientists, i.e. non-scientists who are actively involved in scientific research, offers one potential solution to gathering the larger scale, longer term data that is needed. In this new study, researchers used 10 years of data from across the UK, collected by citizen scientists as part of the Bee Walk Scheme, a citizen science project run by the Bumblebee Conservation Trust, to investigate the associations between the various land use, habitat and climate variables for 14 different bumblebee species. In analysing this large-scale and long-term data set, the researchers revealed strong species-dependent effects for specific habitats on the presence and abundance of bumblebees, In other words, a one-size-fits-all approach to bumblebee conservation will not effectively protect all species, meaning that future efforts should instead be carefully tailored to a particular species. Despite the need for tailored conservation efforts, this study also revealed that the single most generally effective action for bumblebee conservation would be to reverse the loss of semi-natural areas such as wetlands, which as well as improving habitats in urban and arable areas, could also benefit rarer species as well. This research also further highlights the benefit that citizen scientists can play in helping to extend our knowledge of species habitat requirements and to support future research and conservation. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. We map your presence across field and pasture, tracing flights of fancy from marsh and mire to gardens, hedges, lanes. Across freshwater edges you weave your dance. Vibrant stripes of fur drifting over bracken and herbs with the casual impertinence of independent passage. Transects diverge, break in transitions with dissecting lines of gold and black as you hurry down corridors made narrow in escape. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Apple Blossoms by Susan Kelly DeWitt. Susan Kelly DeWitt is an American poet and visual artist. She's the author of the full-length poetry collections Gravitational Tug, published in 2020, The Fortunate Islands, published in 2008, and Spider Season, published in 2016, as well as numerous chapbooks. 
Her honors include a Wallace Stegner Fellowship from Stanford University and the Chicago Literary Award from another Chicago magazine. Kelly DeWitt has also worked as a California poet in the schools and as an artistic director for the Women's Wisdom Project Arts Program for Homeless and Low Income Women. She is currently a member of the National Book Critics Circle, the Northern California Book Reviewers Association, and a contributing editor for Poetry Flash. Apple Blossoms by Susan Kelly DeWitt. One evening in winter when nothing has been enough, when the days are too short, the nights too long and cheerless, the secret and docile buds of the apple blossoms begin their quick ascent to light. Night after interminable night, the sugars pucker and swell into green slips, green silks, and just as you find yourself at the end of winter's long cold rope, the blossoms open like pink thimbles and that black dollop of shine called bumblebee stumbles in. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.